Christiana, welcome to our kitchen. Thanks for coming up to see us today. Thanks so much. I want to show you how much easy is uh, to peel and uh, do some dish with the salami. Yeah, we have, the salami is very, very easy to peel. You see, we have a natural casing around and we have some uh, white mold. You need just to peel to take off the casing. You usually cut the first part out and then I choose how much salami I want to open. I do a little things like this with a knife and then I peel. It's very, very easy. It's like when, when you peel a banana. You take the slice, just gently you take out the casing. Very, very easy. When, we don't, when you don't use the salami, you put it in the refrigerator and you cover it with plastic. The salami is a chef's table product, so you don't have any problem. You can leave it in the refrigerator for a long time. Well, Cristiano, let's put together a little charcuterie plate since we have some friends coming over. Yep. I have the uh, picante here, one of my favorites, and I've peeled it and just slicing about a quarter inch thick. I like the picante with some of the olives, and I'll use a couple of different types of olives to help to help build, to help build some flavor, um, and this one is our our sopasada, which is also a nice fresh salami, as you described, uh, a great flavor. Serve all of these salamis with my favorite fruits and use what's in season. We have some figs that are beautiful. We have some melons and some berries. Well, Cristiano and I have put together a fantastic uh, charcuterie plate, showing the salami with some great pairing flavors. But a lot, of, a, a lot of people don't think they can go beyond charcuterie plates to some other things. And it's great to use salami in different preparations and carry it throughout your meal and throughout your cooking. Um, I think our most classic, the one that, that springs to mind, is our pizza, our flatbread. So we did a very simple flatbread pizza and we're featuring the picante. Uh, a, a true pepperoni, a lean, bright flavors with fresh mozzarella. And then my favorite is a great salami sandwich. We took the Barola with fresh mozzarella, arugula, and some roasted tomato spread on, on a grilled ciabatta, did a panini style sandwich, which is fantastic. And we cut the salami lengthwise. And then we've put together a great salad, a great way to still keep it a, as a light preparation. We used the truffle salami uh, with a Parmigiano Reggiano, arugula, an Italian lemon oil, salt and pepper. That's very simple. I love to do a fresh polenta. We did a, a little fresh polenta with gorgonzola and we did uh, uh, fresh salami slices to go with that. So again, you can kind of eat, eat this as, as an entree, eat this as a side. Polenta and salami really is a great marriage for me. I don't know if this is something that, that you ate a lot as a kid. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> yeah. So it's a lot of different preparations uh, to use an artisan salami. Thanks to Chef Zane for all the, the dish he prepared for us, fantastic things. And you can find uh, all the uh, recipe we do at the Criminelli site at www.criminelli.com and now I'm so angry so it's time to lunch. Buon appetito! <laughs>